St. Augustine Choir sitting on the second row, one could hear her say, we don't need to sing that song no more. <laughs> she also sang with the 8 o'clock choir to help them out and would attend 11 o'clock mass also. What was that about? As chaplain of the choir for more years than I can remember, jotting notes in her calendar from January to December. She was Vernon Green's sidekick during our travels on the bus, sending us off with a prayer was a definite must, passing out gift bags and teasing all the guests and making sure the riders got to stop for their bathroom rest. All of the fun on our trips, cracking jokes and having a ball. Coca-Cola was her libation. She was drinking no alcohol. For the bereaved of the sick, Shug and company will make a way with a plant or a basket or maybe a fruit tray. A few years ago, she cut her shoulder length hair. When I asked if she missed it, she said, I forgot it was there. The small patch of gray located on her head in the back represents the foundation of her wisdom, well, of every wise crack. Treat others the way you would like to be treated. This was a prayer she always repeated. She said God has been good to her with his mercy and grace, and she knows he covers her through whatever she may face. Justin and Lisa are her heart and soul. With them by her side, she will never grow old. Traveling all the time, now some will say, she'll be always gone. She said she's living her life.